Mixed martial arts, it's one of the fastest growing sports in the country. The fights feature a mix of boxing, wrestling, martial arts like jujitsu and karate. The sport is so big, it's now caught the attention of major advertisers and has even garnered primetime slots on network television. One of the sport's biggest up and coming contenders is right here from the Valley. Reporter Anthony Bailey joins us with the man's amazing journey to his latest fight. Anthony? Well, Kurt LeVar Big Johnson has always had a knack for being physical, so you can understand why he loves his job and the former high school linebacker loves being an MMA fighter. Like I told you, ah, ah, what to be tough, ah, ah, go. Ah, to be a good fighter requires a lot of training. Conditioning your body to take a punch isn't easy. It's a labor of love LeVar Johnson does six Please days a week. Welcome to the red corner. LeVar Johnson. For the past seven years, Johnson has risen through the ranks as a top challenger in MMA. There are many ways to defend takedowns, but Johnson may have invented his own when he delivered the sidestep uppercut that rendered Big Carl unconscious in just 18 seconds. I had the chance opportunity to do a tough man competition with the Hadden Lamore, so I signed up for that, end up knocking everybody out. Did it again, same thing happened. Just seven days out, Double up your left. Johnson fine tuning his weapons for battle. Let's go. This one will be the second biggest of his life. It was 4th of July, so, you know, I just thought it was fireworks. Quite possibly Johnson's toughest challenger. Yeah, I didn't feel him go into me, I just knew that something was wrong. I knew I was hitting my arm, I seen my arm bleeding. A career on fire nearly went up in smoke at a family reunion barbecue on T Street, East Bakersfield. They had to splice my intestines open in six different spots. Uh, my colon was damaged, my stomach was damaged, and they had to take out my appendix. There were unforeseen conflicts faced in the initial days. Just being frustrated, being t to the bed, you know, not being able to get up and walk where I wanted. A month later, he was out and given the go-ahead by his doctor. Push the way forward. Eight months of painful struggle from the ground up to his eventual return to the cage. Reclaiming a flawless physique flies in the face of logic. One more time. His battle scars from the fight of his life are at the core of his being. Welcome to Central California on the campus of California State University, Fresno, where tonight... So it seems as if Johnson had won the battle but a melee just hours away would determine if he was able to win the war. Something tells me this one is not going to require the... So what happened during that fight? Well, we'll have that part of the story for you coming up at 5.30. For Eyewitness News, I'm Anthony Bailey. Back to you. Earlier this evening, we brought you the story of LeVar Johnson, an MMA fighter. Johnson was one of five people shot at a family reunion on T Street in East Bakersfield. Reporter Anthony Bailey joins us with the conclusion of Johnson's story. Anthony? Well, Lisa, that July shooting was actually carried out by three young people here in Bakersfield armed with a semi-automatic handgun. Johnson spent a month in the hospital recovering from his wounds, but eight months later, he was back in the ring. Welcome to Central California on the campus of California State University, Fresno, where tonight... Among the massive crowd, Johnson's family was there showing their support. I was not sure if he was going to be ready to, you know, do this fight, but he's come back so strong. It's like suspenseful, like you never know what's going to happen. But the suspense was about to end. LeVar Johnson! Watching him make his way to the cage, Stephen is giving me goosebumps. The Strike Force Challengers event aired live on Showtime. Johnson's fight with an undefeated fighter from Hawaii headlined the event. I think we're all going to secretly cringe every time he takes a body shot. Though. Ringside commentators questioned if his training was tough enough, or did he come back too soon? Well, we were about to find out. Something tells me this one is not going to require the judges' scorecards as we are underway. After the first punch, you don't realize the crowd's there. Just came to watch those 12 to 6 elbows and the takedown secured by Mahe. A fight destined for an early finish. Those jabs are hurting Mahe. I tell you what. And Mahe comes back in the John Johnson. Actually, Mahe got the takedown, so Mahe is definitely in the lead here so far in this round. You can see how Mahe there has. Another right, he is swinging for the fence. 
pray to God and forgive me for my sins and hopefully he can get me past this. Johnson managed to win the fight and keep his sense of humor. I'm going to have a barbecue at my parents' house tomorrow. Not in Bakersfield, <laughs> in Madeira, <laughs> where I know everybody in his sacred. Truly an amazing story there. Now, here's a side note for you. The three people uh, have actually been arrested for the shooting. They sit behind bars tonight, waiting trial. For Eyewitness News, I'm Anthony Bailey. Kurt, back to you.